Today we hacked the mall food court. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're going on tour to bring our comedy and music to your town with shows in September and November all over the Southeast, Southwest, and a few other spots. Get your tickets now at rhettandlinklive.com before they're gone. Yes. Now there are roughly 47,000 shopping malls throughout America. And as the ancient Reddit proverb goes, if you've seen one mall, you've seen them all. Yeah, and the same goes for the food courts inside of those malls. But where you may see a bunch of tired food franchises circling gloms of angsty teens with AirPods dangling out of their ear holes, we see an opportunity. There's arguably no place more ripe for menu item cross-pollination. That's a t tough word to say. Cross-pollination. Well, right, because that's, that's how it's said. That's how it's said. Menu item cross-pollination than the food court. It's time for These Mall Food Court Hacks Are So Insane, They'll Mince Bacon Fry Your Brain. Today we're gonna give you some reasons to go back to the food court. Yeah, we're gonna be creating completely original dishes using only food from the most common and popular food court fast food chains and also the ones that were available to us here in LA. Let's hack it up. Breakfast is often overlooked in the food court, so this first one is for those 9 a.m. senior citizen speed walkers. Yeah. Now, this is our version of the All-American Slam Breakfast the Mall American Slam. Oh, so, I get it. Rhett, you're gonna do the honors while I walk you through it, okay? okay. Um, we're gonna wanna make an omelet with some bacon and some hash browns on the side and there some OJ to wash it down. Now, uh, first you're gonna wanna go over to the Panda Express and get yourself some fried rice. Cause this is the only place you can get eggs in the food court. I know right. I have once asked the people at the Panda Express to just make me an egg and I was asked to leave the mall. I was escorted out by security, so you gotta do it this way. Which is, which you need to take those chopsticks and you need to meticulously pick out all of the scrambled egg bits. Easy. Go for it, take your time. We got all the time in the world. There's one piece. There's an, if you get a little bit of rice, that's fine. I'm gonna fun. shake the rice There's off. two pieces. That's gonna take a while. Josh already did this. We do wanna save this rice. We're gonna be dumping a lot of things into this giant Bucket. Now this is not any normal bucket, or at least uh, this emulates something that's not a normal bucket. This is from Hot Dog on a Stick. Now they use this thing to make their lemonade. We know about this because our very own Matt Carney used to work at Hot Dog on a Stick and he told us that if you go to any Hot Dog on a Stick and just say, I know Matt Carney, uh, you're gonna have your way with Hot Dog on a Stick. And so we went to one and we got one, so, uh, Link, why don't you throw all and the basically rest of what that they rice. would do, they would just put lemons in there. Yeah, they made their lemonade that way, but we're gonna make something later. Yeah. Uh, just to just put it in there. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna stamp this down to try to create some kind of You wanna create the the egg part of the omelet that can then be folded over. And if you're gonna push that hard, I gotta push up on the desk so you don't break it. Good gracious, man. Okay, okay. All right, hey, that's a good thing. Well, let's see let's see what you got. As you can see, it's turning into uh, a the flat same omelet. same thing it was. Okay, so then you wanna go, go over to Sabaro. Yeah, you are. And get yourself a slice of sausage and pepperoni pizza. And in our omelet, we're gonna want cheese and sausage. So you just pull pull those off. Put it in the, no, don't put it on the ground. Gosh, it's gotta stay sanitary. That was a test, Link. You passed. I'm just gonna take there's a lot of picking involved, you know? It's like you're sitting there in hands. the middle of the food court, picking off things, all right, so you got that in there. So now you're gonna wanna take that omelet, as you do, and just gently fold it over. Gently fold it over. Just sort of push it into an omelet. Look at that, that's a beautiful omelet. All right, what's next, that's Link? That's great, now <laughs> on, the, on the side we want some hash browns um, and some bacon. So first, you're gonna go to Charlie's Philly Steaks, and you're gonna get their, get their fries, and then you're gonna stomp them down into a hash brown form. Now I'm creating a, a little bit of a oh, cross, a lattice, a crosshatch pattern here. Yeah, that's nice. It's just kind of an approximation. And there you go. And then you just come no. out. You don't want to hit your omelet. Yeah. You just you don't want to unfold that you omelet. Just push your omelet just to the side, and then. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of working. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Of course, we knew it would work because. <laughs> yeah, we taught the carny. All right, so then you've then got you just, your hash browns then you just on the side. Slide the hash browns over here. Go over to Dairy Queen 
Order yourself a uh, chicken bacon ranch sandwich. Done. And then take off the bacon as your side of, guess what? Bacon. bacon. Oh, there's, first of all, not a lot of bacon on this. So you just set it down there next to the uh, the other ingredients. That bacon is very sad. It seems a bit undercooked as well. Throw that in there for later. There. And now we'll just need a side of orange juice. Now they don't sell orange juice at Orange Julius. They sell this like sugary concoction of orange sugar water. So what you're gonna do is go get some mall fountain water. It's clean. And uh, water, water it, it down. down just to make it palatable. And then you wanna take one of your chopsticks and stir that up. Look at that. I'm on board. That's a good idea. All right, and then grab your fork that you brought from home, uh, because I don't eat with plastic. And you're just gonna just grab, you know, just get as much of it as you want. That's really good. And there you have it. You've started off to a great day of spending the rest of your time at the food court. That's breakfast. Okay, spending that whole day at the mall, you've worked up an appetite for dinner, mm. and we're going to show you how to make a fine dining experience in the mall food court by making a beef Wellington. Because you as, deserve it. That's right, or as we call it, a beef Mallington. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a couple of things here. We're gonna have steak, ham, mushrooms. We gotta have pastry, because that's all a part of the beef Wellington. But we're gonna start with the meat. So you're gonna head over to Charlie's. You're gonna order yourself some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches with extra mushrooms okay. and some club sandwiches. Uh, I've got some ham here that I'm gonna get down to the bottom of. And this Philly cheesesteak has steak and extra mushrooms, as you've said. So I'm just gonna, I'm just placing the ham over there for you, Link. And you wanna keep the meat in separate piles because they're gonna be doing different jobs in this final product. I got a lot of meat and I got a little bit of Mushrooms here, but okay. Okay, so you got your individual piles. Now you're gonna head over to Wessel's Pretzels and get yourself a Wetzel dog. And you're gonna uh, take that and Link, if you could de-wiener. Oh, well you can de-wiener it, now look away. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Just grab okay, it. Okay, got it. Go. So I've got what they call a mess over here, but I think I've succeeded at making a, a meat pile. So all of this sub topping goes in the bucket. Okay, now, you're gonna head to Cinnabon. Uh, you're gonna need to order four cinnamon rolls, and while you're at it, go ahead and order yourself a side of icing because you're gonna need that later for some gluing. Now, you're gonna wanna unroll. A, that is a dream. You're gonna be tempted just to eat them, but don't, don't lose sight of the holy grail. Here, okay, use, so you can use this tray. I need a, I need some saran wrap. Oh, here you go, use this tray. Yeah, <laughs> that's where that tray comes in. Now, you're gonna take these, and like, you're gonna unroll all four of those side by side. You know what, I can help you because this is, this so, is a job for a, whoops. buddies. So they put, all right, so they put an outer layer that you don't need. Throw that in the bucket, and then it exposes this this snail roll, oh yeah, look at that. You just throw that out, then when it gets to the end, that part right there. Good, yeah, you wanna take that middle part and just eat it. Mm-hmm. Then throw the rest in the bucket. Okay, so now you've got a bed, and you know what, they actually, even though this is pretty good, they actually made one that's even more rollable. Right here. Oh, wow. You mean we could have just grabbed that this entire time? Yep. Okay, so now, what do I do with all the meats? So where's your mushrooms? There's the mushroom pile. They went really light on the mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> so throw some mushrooms in there. Like just in here? Yeah. And now, take take the ham, and the ham just creates a blanket across the whole thing. That's like a, right. a, a, that's a full layer there. Oh, yeah. Now you're gonna take all that steak them. Now just keep in mind that you're sitting in the middle of the food court doing this and everybody's watching. It's like people gathering around oh, yeah. someone playing an 80s arcade game. Now Put you're right gonna take there. the wiener and just rest your wiener down into your meat, <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay, and now, Link, uh, I'm gonna let you do the honors. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna roll it into a beautiful final product. Okay, so oh, 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 like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and as you're doing it, you gotta release it. You gotta from this release it from the wrap yep. a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got this extra icing here, Link. Right when you get to the end, I'm gonna create a little 
bit of a glue layer. Oh, you are? You gonna glue it up? Right here, you just so use your- This is when you have to whisper. Okay. We're like, I don't You've know, already been using your fingers. Huh. There you go. Yeah, just, just- That's very appetizing. Just get it in there. And I'm gonna give it a nice, loving squeeze. Now, For, um, they didn't really have faith in us, so we have another one of these to, uh, I mean, to swap out, but I gotta say, it's, you want to compare? It's pretty good. So here's a, here's one that they made beforehand. I think ours looks better. <laughs> uh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna create a cross section here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the the hero one we call it. Oh yeah. Everyone's gathered around the food court and then you show them the goods. Uh, it's, you show them the goods. It's grabbing onto the bottom. You just show them the goods. Whoa. Yeah, slice it up. Look at that. Okay, here See, we go. There's gonna be a line of people who've been watching and now you just you slice it up and dole it out. This is kind of hard for this to kind of remain together. Okay, just throw, uh, it, throw it on a plate. There we go. And do you you pick? I mean, you pick it up, eat it like a sandwich? Nope. No, this is fancy town. Well, but I am. But we're still at the mall, so I'm gonna eat it like this. Eat your heart out, Gordon Ramsay. Fancy. Mmm. All right, you've had breakfast, you've had dinner, and now you want to leave the mall, right? No, you want to stay at the mall food court and make dessert. Yeah. And how about some cake pops? So we're gonna make Paul Blart Mall pops. Woo! All right, so you go to Mrs. Fields, you get yourself some chocolate chip cookies, batter those things up. Bam, bam, bam. Throw them, throw them down on there. Get some icing from Cinnabon. And well, then- they start coming through, That you know you're ready. Uh, you're gonna wanna take that and make a cake pop dough using that in the Cinnabon icing. That looks good. Okay, and now for the, um, for the pot part of the, the cake pop, you get these from Hot Dog on a Stick, of course. So there is one stick, and here's the other one. Okay, so you're gonna get this all together, and then you're gonna the bucket. divide it into two equal size portions. And then you're gonna wanna ball it up, put it on there, I'll ball mine up. Oh, look at that. Now I'm gonna make a sweet option, and you're gonna make a sour option. I'm a savory man. For the sweet option, I've got some Popcornopolis caramel corn. And I want to create a coating. Oh, look at that. The stomper is. Yeah, you got to just get get all the meat that is is a acquired have been <laughs> acquired so far. Is there far. any on the bottom? No, it's clean. Oh, good. I mean, there's a little bit of something, but you know, it'll all come out in the wash. I'm gonna roll my cake pop in this stuff. Okay, and for the sour version, what you're gonna wanna do is you need to go back to hot dog on a stick because it's the only place you can get straight up citric acid because they put this in their lemonade. Again, Matt Carney sent me, that, that's your key word, you'll get in. Uh, and then you're Two gonna, words. You're gonna wanna and get Carney. some uh, sweet and sour sauce from the panda. Oh yeah. I don't know uh, what you guys are laughing at back there, but. Maybe what's happening over here, but. Um, oh, and if you want some chocolate drizzle, you can go over to Baskin Robbins, ask for some of that, and then I'm just gonna. Oh, yours looks really good. Drizzle that on the cake pop. I think if I had to choose one, I might choose the, the sweet version. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. oh. This is a good idea. I'm loving this. Mm. Okay, and you just take the rest of that popcorn, uh. drop it back in your, drop it back in there. And again, in Good Mythical More, we're gonna stop all this down and create something magical with it because that's what Matt Carney would do. Mm -hmm. A stir fry. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Curtis. And I'm Michaela, and we are at the Mall of America. And, and it's, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Is there a roller coaster behind A hydroponic you? mall? I want to move. Click the top link to watch us eat a mall food court stir fry and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Up your pin game with our mythical enamel pins. Available now at mythical.com.